What's going on people? Wanted to show you a little something I got in from Cooler Master not too long ago. They sent me a keyboard. This is their uh, Cooler Master CK552. Now I'll admit I'm not really big on full size keyboards anymore. I've gone the uh, compact route and uh, really don't plan on going back, but as far as the mainstream brands go, they usually release pretty solid mechanical keyboards. So I figured I'd give it a look. Also, it is using uh, Gateron Reds or Gateron Reds. How do you pronounce that? Uh, yeah, which a lot of people say are smoother than Cherry MX switches. So I figured it'd be worth a try. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. And they also sent me a uh, big ass mouse pad or a mouse mat. So I think we're gonna be uh, upgrading or uh, rearranging the setup a little bit. And they gave me this little uh, like accessory kit. I guess it's got like uh, some O-rings, sound dampening O-rings in there, uh, microfiber cloth, keycap puller, and a cleaning brush. So uh, yeah, that cleaning brush I think is gonna be pretty handy, man. Get out all that uh, miscellaneous food and whatever else is <laughs> in between your keycaps. Especially with these uh, floating Key, uh, key cap designs or uh, key switch designs. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and pull this thing apart. Or not pull the thing apart, but take it out of the damn box. Just give you a little... It's a little sample, a little sample. All right, let's open this thing up. RGB keyboard, by the way. And once again, these are Gatoron Red switches. They are a linear switch. I personally prefer more uh, of the tactile switches. I like that bump. Click is not important, but I definitely gotta have that bump in there. So uh, we'll see how this one works out. And here it is. Not bad looking, it's not bad. Uh, it's got kind of a pretty decent look to it, not too uh, gamery or anything like that. Aluminum top plate, pretty cool. All right, we're gonna plug this thing in. And uh, have a look-see at the uh, switches and the keycaps and stuff. And then we'll do a little bit of a typing test. So, yeah. Man, I really like the texture of this uh, mouse mat from Cooler Master. It looks a lot better than the normal uh, cloth pads that you get. It's got kind of like a more synthetic type of look, or I don't know what you would call it, but it uh, looks like it's gonna be a lot more durable than uh, just your standard mouse mat, which I actually like a lot. One thing I like about this keyboard is it's got a standard bottom row. So if you plan on buying aftermarket keycaps, you'll know it's kind of a pain in the ass when you have to buy keys on their own because you've got a retarded bottom row, uh, something that a lot of the other mainstream brands do. And as far as the keys themselves, your F1 through F4 keys are for lighting. The F1 key will allow you to change uh, the colors. And then the F2 to F4 are kind of like uh, allowing you to kind of set custom colors, by the way. So you can do a little bit of blue, a little bit of red, and that'll make purple or something like that uh, without the need for any software. The uh, F5 through F8 keys are for lighting. The uh, F5 is going to change the lighting modes, which I will show you guys a little bit of those later. And then the F6 and F7 are for foreground and background mode changes. So. I think the way it kind of works is if uh, you do F7 and then you change one of the lighting modes, it'll only change on the key press and not just a standard when nothing is being pressed, if that makes sense. So I think the background is when the key is pressed and the foreground is just uh, when no keys are being touched. So um, yeah, that kind of works. And then F8 is just a demo mode. We've got uh, macro keys on the uh, F10 and F11 and F12 keys. Then if you move over to the uh, you know, home page up, page down, etc., you've got your media keys. 
So you guys that uh, need those, those are still present here. And then towards the uh, bottom of the keyboard, you've got uh, some more lighting stuff. The up and down will change the direction of some of the effects, and then the left and right will change the speed of the effects. There's also multiple profiles that you can store in the uh, one through four keys. So you can store up to uh, four different configurations. And that's pretty much it as far as the keys go. Pretty standard, but it is nice that you can actually change everything that you need on the keyboard itself without the use of any software. Uh, there is software available though, if you do want to go ahead and download that, um, you can make changes to the lighting and uh, macros and stuff through there. But for some reason, maybe you're not on Windows or you just don't want to deal with additional software, you can make all of the changes on the keyboard itself. All right, so this is the part of the video where probably most of you will skip ahead to. Uh, let's just go ahead and knock out a, a typing test with this real quick. Okay, so uh, yeah, these definitely feel a lot different than uh, tactile switches if you're using uh, blue or brown, so you're definitely going to uh, notice the difference here. These, uh, I will say they are pretty smooth. It's just straight up, straight down. Uh, but yeah, they're basically red. So if you prefer blue or brown switches, I don't think these uh, Gatorons are going to really change that, but they uh, they feel pretty solid. I would like to see Cooler Master maybe give us some additional options, maybe a getter on uh, blue or brown switch. I would probably use browns uh, since I prefer tactile switches and I like browns, but uh, yeah. As for the lighting modes, you've got like rainbow wave, stars, ripple, fireball, uh, color cycle, fade, static color. I'm not going to go through them all, but there's plenty of options when it comes to customizing the lighting on this keyboard, which is nice. And you don't have to use any software. Again, if you don't want to, you can do it right on the uh, keyboard here with the hotkeys. So as far as this keyboard goes, I'd say it's a pretty solid option. You've got RGB lighting, a standard bottom row. You've got media keys, pretty decent build quality and aluminum top plate on it and not a bad price. If I had to make any suggestions to Cooler Master, it would be give us more uh, key switch choices, uh, Gatoron still, of course, and uh, maybe give us a 10 keyless version. That's what I'd want. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. All right, guys, that is it. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like if you like this type of content. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already. Don't forget to follow me on social media, on Instagram and Twitter, at Jerry Neutron, and I will catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. See ya!